and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about the graphic design of the zigzag composition. I know you know about it, you've seen it, you probably do it, but sometimes it's fun not to make it so obvious. Zigzag being, that's the design, the graphic design. So I'm gonna show you how I like to use it, incorporating it into the painting because it makes the painting graphically stronger and more memorable, as opposed to just kind of stuff all over the place. There is a design format to all this craziness. For instance, now it's a zigzag. So we start from here. This is leading the viewer's eye up to here, up to the bright spot, to the next bright spot, and then straight over here to this real subtle small little triangle, a martini. So it's a really sneaky way of getting the viewer's eye across. Over here, a little simpler, a direct line of zigzagging up the model's leg to the kneecap, up to the shoulders, and even her shoulder blades are pointing out to the light source. And of course, that's what's kind of fun with this. This is more of a monochromatic blue. Yellow is the focal point here, of course. Uh, my color wheel, at least but the light shines over here, so everything over here is gonna be lighter, giving the illusion that there's a lot of light coming across here and darker over here. Over here are the more graphic pieces that uh, are kind of a sneaky way of getting the zigzag going in here. We come up here to the red spot, all the way up to this spot, over to here, zigzag over to here, and then all the way out of the painting. It's kind of a sneaky way of getting you through the painting. This was uh, one of my abstract landscapes, Straight up to here, over to here. There's your zigzag back up into the smallest little focal point. And that's the point I wanna make, is that why a zigzag design? Because it draws you to a focal point. You can see all behind me, all zigzag, but they're not really obvious zigzag, right? And it doesn't have to be the biggest part of the painting, the focal point. Just like in some of these, it could be the smallest spot. Okay, let me show you how I like to do it for me. So before I even start the painting, I do some sketches, as you can see, of zigzag. Different designs, some are swinging, some are more abstract, some are like a road going away. But on this piece of painting over here, I'm gonna just see is if I can do it somewhat abstract, but get your eyes going in those directions. So here's where I want the viewer's eye to end up. Right, we'll just do that. So I did determine right from the very beginning where I want the viewer's eye. So we lead them along this path, up here maybe. I'm using a two inch brush and it's really narrow here so I can do some narrow stuff too. So we go to here, to here, whatever I'm doing, I have to make sure that what gets your attention are these little spots to here, all the way out to here, maybe even be so obvious like that. Now I might make it even more memorable by going vertically like that. Whoa, see it's completely different from everything else. Here I'm doing big strong shapes, narrow shapes, always leading you up to eventually to this spot right in here. So that's black and white working with just three values light, mid-gray, super black. And I just keep practicing these on either sketch paper or on paper itself or in my sketchbook and just back and forth, keeping my brush moving. Now this is very abstract, very abstract, but I kind of like it. Let's see what it would look like quickly. If I take some of this tape off. <laughs> this is just my sketch pad, paper. I even like how it tore the, the paper a little bit here. I'm making an instant border with this frog tape, right? Makes a nice clean edge. It gives it a look almost like a pseudo mat. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. You can see how this is gonna be fun to play with. But anyway, I wanted to show you briefly this idea of a, of a matte effect without really putting it in the matte. All right, I'm gonna get another piece of paper. Watercolor 
of paper. There we go. And now I want to show you actually elements that will take you through, not just graphic shapes, dark lights, but maybe some, some kind of elements. So here's, that's for fun. Just between you and I, let's do the zigzag design and say that's where we want the viewer's eye to go. So I determined that right from the very get-go. So I'm going to have something here, something here, something here, and maybe something over here. So this could be, I'll just do this quickly. Oh, let's just do a vase. The shapes. Maybe a big, strong, strong shape of a vase. There we go. Flowers. Something like that. It's going to be a whole bunch of flower pots. Then maybe up in here. This could be a shelf of flower pots. <laughs> well, you get the idea, I think, what I'm doing in here. And they get a little smaller, too, when they get further away. Paint all over the place. Don't stay in one place too long. <laughs> All the way up to here, and then maybe something like this, something completely different. So you can see, well, it's kind of fun, that just by putting the elements in those spots, the light, the eyes naturally is going to go up in here. See, now I'm going to just wet it down a little bit. So you, I'm hiding it so it's not so obvious. Just sitting on a table. Maybe something like that, sitting on a table. Bring my eye back up into here. Whatever you do, just make sure it has the most contrast. You do this with color too, of course. This one, just to speed up the painting time, we're gonna do it with black and white. So painting all over the place. Pretty obvious this one, right? Wrong. Now this is just with black. I haven't even started my color yet. I'll let this dry. I'll do a wash of different colors. Now it becomes a really wonderful, strong graphic type of painting. And I know it will work because the graphic design is solid. That's what keeps it all together. You can be wild and crazy all you want, realistic or abstract as long as you have a good, strong graphic design. This is only one of them. In the, my book, I have about 16 different graphic designs layout that are universally acceptable. You know, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, zigzag, and many more. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this little helpful suggestion here for your next painting. Do a zigzag. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.